Hey guys, welcome back to Jordan Samuel Skin Talks. Headpiece line, we're in October. You know, something I should say because it is October, it is the five year anniversary of Jordan Samuel Skin. The true Jordan Samuel Skin. I started out doing some other things like earlier on um, before that, but the true like meat heart of the company, it's five years and I can't believe it and we're doing better than ever and we're getting new products out, we're reformulating products, we're improving products, we're getting better designs and packaging and uh, upping customer service and doing everything. So I'm, I'm very excited and honored and it all is thanks to you. So thank you, thank you for watching, thank you for enjoying the products, thank you for, again I always talk about word of mouth being direct to consumer, word of mouth is key. It is key. So thank you, cheers to you. Just an excuse to drink. It's the same martini. We're gonna play this game again. Film it all together one day. Same martini. And I'm not filming with the light. Do I need the light? I feel like there's enough light that I don't need the light. Anyway, today we're gonna to talk about massage and maybe other treatments. I wrote other treatments, but I don't really know what I want to talk about with other treatments. What they can and cannot do. Um, because I think some people expect too much or sort of disassociate things. Anyway, so let's start, let's start with massage. So, massage, excellent. A, it's excellent for relaxing the nervous system. The skin can be considered the external nervous system because we sort of wear when we're irritated and stressed, the skin, you know, we get the cortisol levels raised and we can, it can come out in a thicker, stickier sebum, which can create breakouts and create redness and create irritation and inflammation in the system, which results in the skin. Blotchy, red, irritated, slight breakouts. Um, so massage in general for relaxing the nervous system and sort of resetting is amazing there. Before we even get into any of the other reasons we do it, that to me is just like an extra bonus. So where was I? I was talking about massage. I've had a hell of a time with the camera today. Most of it being my fault. 100% of it being my fault. But still. The warnings you get are very like at the last second and then I can't schedule things. Um, okay, so massage, relaxation, that's sort of the added bonus. Excellent, awesome, lovely. Two, muscle tone, stimulating muscle tone. And now this is where I think people get a little bit confused and they think massage is gonna literally massage out the wrinkles or fine lines. So two things here, we have to remember, and, and this is a big one because people do get confused, there are uh, fine lines and wrinkles and they can, they can be expression lines and they can be from obviously the loss and breakdown of collagen in the skin, loss of volume, um, not so much loss of volume, but creating that look. Massage is dealing with the muscle and stimulating muscle tone. That's a whole nother level of the skin and that's the scaffolding, if you will, of the skin and holding it up. So you do want that tone, that muscle tone in the skin to have everything lifted. However, you can have everything lifted and still have fine lines, expression lines, and wrinkles. They're sort of two different things. So don't expect or don't let anyone tell you that massage is going to massage out your wrinkles. We're never massaging out people's wrinkles. We are stimulating muscle tone at a low level constantly to keep the skin nice and perky. Another thing we're doing, so we have the relaxation, relaxing the nervous system. We have stimulating the muscle tone, which is most important and great for the facial. But obviously that constant massage, that warming and softening of the skin, allowing the skin to absorb other products, when you're then using treatment products, whether you use a retinol or an acid, um, or vitamin C, or hyaluronic acid, or whatever it is, it's able to really get in there. You're spending time, during facials at least, massaging a really, high amount of a high quality product into the skin. And that alone, regardless of muscle tone or relaxation or anything else, is great for the skin. So that's three. Is that three? I think that's three. Let's have a sip to make sure it's three. Um, but the big one is that the muscle tone and the lines and wrinkles sort of don't go hands in hand, we're working on the scaffolding. The products can help lightly with some expression lines and some fine lines and wrinkles with 
the retinols, the acids, whatever we're using, and we can target those with the products. But the actual action of massage is working on the muscle tone, the scaffolding. Um, and then there is the glow, which is going to be bringing that blood to the surface, creating healthy circulation that's not irritating the skin, um, moving lymph, move, just moving fluid in the system. You know, it's easy as that. I think it's something like we're 70% water, or I mean, it's something absurd. And so we do want to get things moving and not be stagnant. That is why Narita recommends it. That is why Caroline Hirons recommends it. That's why I recommend it. That's why Jan Scrivener recommends it. That, I mean, I'm like cutting myself short here and missing, you know, the 70,000 other people that um, recommend it too. But that glow comes from massage, massaging the skin, getting movement, getting blood to the surface, getting lymph. Lymph doesn't have its own uh, pump and its own... Uh, yeah, it's on pump. Cheers. So we need to do that ourselves, whether through something like a very skilled, very trained, like I'm trained in uh, manual lymphatic drainage, or you are going to get a little bit of that just from a regular massage during a facial. Um, you also get that from exercising. You know, you get the system moving, get everything going. So here we have relaxation of the nervous system, stimulating muscle tone, uh, getting blood to the surface, moving lymph, and helping to get treatment products to absorb in better and, and getting them and treating um, concerns during the massage, during the facial. You can be doing the same thing at home. All of those things are going to happen at home except for maybe relaxing the nervous system. Um, while you will, be, while it is a relaxing um, procedure. Usually if you're like really going in there, you yourself are getting a little bit up and involved, so it might not relax the nervous system too much when you're doing it to yourself. However, stimulation of muscle tone, bringing blood circulation, getting lymph moving, and getting those products to absorb in, that's all going to happen. Okay? But again, this isn't muscle and stimulating muscle tone is not the same thing as removing an expression line or a fine line and wrinkle in it. And really, when I say removing, like you know um and back to and on that note and this is going back to video yesterday yesterday last week which was actually 10 minutes ago for me um i talked about products and consistent use of products the same thing would be with facials the same thing would be with lasers the same thing would be you know you can get a laser and you can get LED light, you can get something that's going to give your skin a great microcurrent is actually the perfect example. You're going to leave a microcurrent facial and be so sculpted and so toned and so lifted um, and feel good and look good. It's only going to last for a little bit though, so you do have to keep coming back. And, and those results do become cumulative and the result lasts a little bit longer each time, but the result never lasts forever. And so just like your products, your acids, your retinols, your actives specifically, you have to keep using them. I know I sort of circled back to the other video. It makes sense in terms of massage too, and treatments, and what to expect and what not to expect. You can only expect so much from your treatments um, if you're getting them once in a while and not really following through with all the aftercare. But I hope that helps. I hope you guys love massaging your skin. Um, I love using the treatment cleanser to massage my skin, or the balm cleanser, or the matinee cleanser. Um, I massage the oils in, I massage, I mean you can't really massage hydrate in, but I'm always, like that is my thing, um, is I really like massaging. I, I, that's the type of facial I search out, whenever I go to LA, I go to Narita for the facial massage. Um, and my skin immediately is glowing. You can actually look at Caroline Hiron's interview we did because I came fresh from a facial from Narita. If you want to see how my skin is, it's not red, it's not blotchy, it's not irritated, it's super glowing. Um, if I do say so myself, I mean, that was sort of very like gross and weird that I said that, but um, it's true, but it's actually Narita, it's not me, so it's Narita. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Maybe the martini is not the best idea, but you know, it's real life, right? Okay. Thank you for watching. Love you. Bye. Hi everyone. Thanks for watching. You can subscribe by clicking the black JS circle down below so we can stay in contact and keep talking. To watch more videos, you can click on the link here or possibly here. Thanks for watching. Bye.